Formed in 1997 by musician John Williams and vocalist Emmett Shkemi Garcia, Native Roots jams with a message of pride, unity, and respect among all nations through the universal language of music. This dynamic and award-winning combination has produced three CDs that have propelled Native Roots into the Native American and reggae music scene as the premier Native American reggae band whose music is 100% Native American written, produced, and performed. started with John and myself, John Williams, and I'm Shkimi Garcia, and we created the group in 1997. And since then, we've had different musicians that have come into the band. Always a family atmosphere with our group, and um, just singing about consciousness and positivity, and who we are as a modern people, Native American people. But also, it's all global vision, it's a world vision. It's all, you know, about you know, coming together as one people. And um, the group we have now uh, is really um, connected. We're really like-minded. And, um, and when you bring like-minded people together, and then you tend to bond with other like-minded people. And so it kind of draws, and it's like a magnet draws the good people into one big circle. Um, and it's a beautiful thing to be able to express through music and words. Um, just a message that people are ready to accept and, and I too thank you all for like letting me be part of this. I listened to Native Roots as a youth growing up and it's just crazy how now I'm back again and I met them just through um, local just being in the area, New Mexico, just hearing them, seeing them around. They um, featured Wallatoa Massive a couple times at a couple events, um, Gather of Nations, and we've just kind of stayed around, made a song with them, and um, just here to express that. Well, I'm Sunrose Iron Shell, and I'm part of the Native Rhythm Rockers. <laughs> And this is Juanita, so we're um, like a, the little dancing duo. Here we are, you know, and, and the main thing is just to make the people aware, show them that, you know, we can't give up, man, and we've got to stay strong, especially in this time. So here we are to spread the message to the people and the rest of the world. You know, as a co-founder to Native Roots, um, very honored to work with these uh, musicians here. They all have a couple things in common. One is they're talented, and the other thing is that they're uh, good people. And those two components make a, a great combination, and so um, I'm very happy. Three of these musicians I've worked with indirectly as um, at a high school. I know that you asked the question about how did this big uh, ensemble get together and you know Shkimi is a visionary and uh, a dreamer and um, also has a little theater background and so I, I, and I know that, that you know, he had this vision for quite some time and this was a good opportunity to, to um, implement it. You just want to show um not only the reggae world, indigenous world, but the whole white world as um, native people, as indigenous people, as people from representing different cultures, and then also representing New Mexico, the land of enchantment, that there is a lot of talent there. Uh, reggae music has played a big uh, role in empowering our native and indigenous people around the globe to be proud of who we are, um, you know, to stand up for those injustices that have been committed against our people and, and um, spread the message of goodwill and one love um, through the message of Bob Marley, um, through the Rasta culture, Rasta religion, to the native religion and, and all really indigenous ways of 
praising the great creator are all the same and we all we all have the same global message and that's um, brotherhood among mankind. And that's what this group I feel is that you have the new roots, you know, that are emerging, you know, and, and we are rooted as people and so part of that is being proud in all nations, you know, and uh, expressing that through word, music and clothes and just all this wonderful thing. So thank you for allowing us to be part of that. I've always sensed pride in the Miccosukee people, you know, in your dress, in your language, and it doesn't leave when you go to the city. You take it with you. You don't try and change when you go into Miami. You stay the same, proud people, and I've always appreciated that and I pass that on to my, the people I work with, so I spread the word that Miccosukee is a proud and, and, and a strong group of people. You're, you're here to stay. Thank you for watching Miccosukee Magazine TV.